start the meeting for Parks and Rec for June 28th with the roll call. Here. Uh, Commissioner Stanton, here. Commissioner Shebrol is out. Commissioner Burke is not here yet. And then Chair Bellamo. Here. Okay, so uh, if I can get an approval for the minutes of the last meeting. Or, yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from last month's meeting. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any citizen comments or concerns? No one here? Okay. So first item on the business is the Wade Creek Park grand opening. I know you guys were there for that one. So mm -hmm. how'd that go? It was, it was really good. Yeah, it was well attended. It went great. Weather was great. Mm -hmm. We Thanks. were ready to give tours. People were okay doing it on their own. Um, it went really well. Did you guys give a lot of tours? No, they we they wanted tours. we gave them the brochure and they did their own tour. They really didn't want to be guided. Guided. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. but there were a lot of people. It went really well. What was in well, out of curiosity? What was in the brochures? Was it just like uh... there was like what six or seven different like points of interest around the park, and it explained like what it was, like what the feature was okay. of of that part. Like the exercise equipment, the pollinator garden, the amphitheater, et cetera. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. That's cool. Are we going to have anything with Wade Creek going forward? If maybe if, is it the potentially changing the horseshoe thing into a splash pad? Is that like pretty much all we have going on with Wade Creek? Okay. Okay, we I mean, our first concert today, and then our next one will be July twelfth. Uh, did we? Uh, I know we talked about the kettle corn vendor. Was is he gonna? Was he there today? Uh, yes, they're gonna set up a table, and she's just gonna have already like pre popped bagged popcorn there. Gotcha. So she is there today, and then I feel like the Arts Commission said they were setting up a table to promote a visit. Yeah. Are there? The Arts yeah. Commission will be there as well as Clackamas River Basin Council will be there with kids activities about salmon and water. Oh, wow. Awesome. Is Clackamas River Basin? Clackamas River Basin Council. Council. So before I left for California, I did stop by and talk. I talked about the boba guy, but I, I left all. He was. He sounded like he was excited and like ready to do it. And he had uh, someone else who could have done shaved ice and shaved ice and something else and cotton candy. Mm -hmm. But I, I I only saw him once before I left, and then I left him my information, and he never got back to me. So I might try to talk to him again if I can catch him again. Maybe I'll get him for the rest of the concerts. Yeah. I have your email, which I was going to just forward to him and then have him fill out and bring the certificate insurance and all that stuff over. So yeah, hopefully they always seem like they want to be involved in community events. So I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that they would. OK, cool. I'll try to get him for the next couple and see if he wants to get out there. Uh. So we're pretty much good up for like setup and all that stuff for all those bands too. Okay, cool. Anything else for the concert? No. Okay. Um, wait, one thing, sorry. Um, Rob, I think is going to try and come to one of the meetings and talk to you about you guys possibly taking it over in the future, which was he kind of wants yeah. to step out, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the next meeting. Because I think, isn't this the third year? Yeah, he's been and doing it for... I feel like the first year he was like, I'm going to do it this year and then I'll give it to you guys. And <laughs> yeah, and this year we I noticed that we are getting a lot more traction as far as people wanting to play. I got quite a few emails of bands way after the fact, after it was booked. But so I think there's... I'm going to try and compile a list of people that have reached out. So next year, maybe you guys... Yeah. Look through the options and pick out people you'd like 
to play. Yeah, if we could, like, yeah, if he wants to transition, if we get like a list of everything he does for it and everything, then mm-hmm. yeah, that'd be great. And then we can figure out people to do it. That mm-hmm. shouldn't be too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. The next is the pickleball update. So I did chat with the group of people at the pickleball courts. And actually I had them, I I did a, I made a survey for them and had them fill them all out. And it looks like we got about That's a lot. 50, 40 that looks responses. Like, yeah, that looks like a lot. Awesome. Uh so I was just reading through them real quick. And uh so just general questions that I had them uh answer was. Would they be interested if the pickleball port, uh, courts were at the portal? And it sounds like most of them were pretty open to it. Uh, after chatting with them, I was like, you know, for the number of courts, it sounds like majority want at least four. But I know it, it's more of a size constraint than anything is how many we could actually put in. But it sounds like a majority, you know, they want four. because They have about 70 members. And so four courts would have would be able to house about 20 people per game, you know, for Mm-hmm. for a round or whatever so it would take them a couple of rounds to get through pretty much everyone playing so if they had eight then they would be able to get more like 40 playing at a time so about half of them could use the courts at a time and it sounds like a majority of them for at least three or four days a week so they oh, get wow. utilized a lot yeah. uh things to help maybe utilize them like year round it'd be like a cover like you know some sort of like patio uh structure over the courts to let for rain or and for lights potentially then you could use it more in the winter too uh but i can compile i'll I'll go through tonight and then i'll compile their what what they said and i'll i can like send an email with all that stuff but it sounds like for the most part everyone's pretty cool with with the number of courts and other amenities like uh, other questions like oh what other amenities would they, they want they were like okay maybe a water fountain maybe restrooms there's already restrooms there's already there, there. There's already rest- okay yeah. there's already restrooms there uh trash cans yeah. uh benches for people to wait on yeah, i was thinking benches around it because i see i they bring like um lawn chairs to sit and wait i've seen them oh okay. but i was thinking that that would make it a lot easier i think just what you found out 70 members yeah. that are playing three to four days a week like there's definitely and need because during school they're not allowed to to play there and a lot of them look about the retired age so i'm sure they would like to play when yeah school is in session yeah and it sounds like uh so from what david the so so david judd is the like their unofficial committee leader for their group that they play so it sounds like 70 or so people from the church play and then they have other people from like happy valley and uh, what do you say, Sandy and a few other places nearby also come to play with their group as well. Yeah, because I saw there's like an app that they can, or it's like a website. I didn't want, you had to like enter your email to look, but you can see their whole schedule and you can like go um, to like the different, so like people from all over can come. Yeah. I, oh, that's okay. really cool. Yeah, the other thing I had them as, I had asked them, oh, would they think of like a fence, like a, maybe like a waist high fence? would be good or not like you know to prevent the ball from going or you know mm-hmm. we like if we had it all fenced i'm gonna put the benches on the outside so they could the people on the outside could wait and then they could take turns like like a batting cage or like a mm-hmm. tennis court or something like that uh yeah that's yeah just basic questions for the most part and then i just let them put any other suggestions or comments so i can go through the bottom part i'll see if anyone put anything else interesting or anything and i can throw it on the email just for information purposes but it looks like we actually got a pretty good response that's uh, yeah nice. that's awesome <laughs> taryn what's the next step so like because i feel like that's a good amount of people so then do we have to like present to city council right and do like the land survey or whatever yeah it may be biggest good to maybe look into seeing how much something like that would cost like okay i don't know i can ask if someone here would know or look into it or okay you guys know um and then yeah presenting to city council um see if that's something they'd like the city to pursue so would okay so i did see like uh 
there was website, you know, cut their companies who make these cords, right? Mm -hmm. So would it be good for us to go out and like potentially get a quote from them or uh, how would, what would be like the first thing after it, if to, to be able to, to get a quote? Um, I mean, you could, or I don't know if that's something that staff should do. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like in the past staff has done, like when yeah. we've done the water, mm -hmm. the splash pad things, it's always been city yeah. staff. Yeah. Melanie's back next week, um, the city manager. So let me run it past her and I'll let you know what yeah, she okay. suggests um, next steps to be. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay. Did you hear anything from anything else? I talked to a couple of people and the person who had initially asked me about it, I just said it was just hearsay. He didn't actually play pickleball, but he had come to me twice advocating for it mm -hmm. because he knew it was growing. I was like, so you don't know anyone was no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good to know. <laughs> and that was where I, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. So just, just for the good of community, he was, he'd heard it was very popular and thought it would be a good addition. Oh, all good but otherwise knew nothing about it. <laughs> he said he had played once maybe four years ago before he hurt his back. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I was I was just driving by and I, when I saw all, saw all of them mm -hmm. playing, I was like, I just asked one of the ladies, I was like, oh, do you guys have a leader? Leader, I guess, for <laughs> lack of a better leader. term. And she was like, oh, David likes to organize. Okay, so I, so I just put this together, sent it over, and then he got it all out within the community. So that's Sweet. awesome. Yeah, Very yeah, good. not too bad. Anything else for it? No, no, I'm assuming we're crossing off Quest Cicada. Yeah, we can go ahead and yeah, we'll wait for Steven to give us an update on that one since he's out today. Okay. Park signs was something I had added on there. Okay. Um, and I don't know like the process for that either, but we do now have, so the park is at Cascadia Ridge. It's built and we're playing on it and it's awesome. Um, but there's no signage at all up there. And I don't know what the process is. I know all the other parks have a sign, even like our hidden park up there um overlook court right nope not overlook court the other one the one that's but, over there um anyway they all have signs um but there's no sign that says like anything about like one that it's a city park or like the time that people should be there when we've been there it's been like really great being used appropriately um I haven't heard anything like on like seen anything on Facebook or on neighborhood watch about it since it's in my neighborhood, but I just thought it would be good before we have a situation to have a sign up there. And the same thing with the other side of Wade Creek, like entering the park from the amphitheater side. Um, there's no signage on that too, which I think we talked about a little bit before, but like, I think the other one says like it's closed from dusk to dawn the one on the like front side of Lake yeah. Creek Park um but there's no sign if you're going that way so and again I don't know the process of that I just wanted it yeah I'll just tell them okay um I I don't know if that Cascadia Ridge if it's in the works yet or not or but I'll inquire okay. and then I did mention that hours for the other side of Wade Creek and she did say that we need one so I okay I will mention that again. Okay. She's this sign. It doesn't say. Isn't there a sign that oh, it says the hours and it says like stay away from the ducks. Yeah, the ducks and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Um, also, review or feedback from the neighborhood of the new park is amazing. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves that that surface. So if we like, when we get to planning like getting to actually do the other park, like so many people have complimented and kids have like taken off their shoes and are running around on it. And like they've played in sandals because it's not bark chips and it's super nice. So it's the uh, one we had with the dragonfly, the dragonfly right? Yes. And people uh, really okay. like the dragonfly. Cool. Good job. And it was the kind of like the spongier. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll check it out. It's really cool. Oh, nice. Let's get all the kids in the community like to use it, huh? Every time we've been there, there's a, like different kids there playing and have walked, like, you know, walk up with their families and it's, it's really nice. So we were happy about that. Okay. 
<laughs> and then, yeah, just let us know about the sign if we need to do anything for it or if the city will just take care of it. Perfect. Okay. And then last on the thing is the trigger truck. Yep, I've got all kinds of stuff for you guys. Okay, so first thing is um, the last two years, we've done it the Saturday before Halloween, um, which would be this year, Saturday, October 28th at 3 p.m. Is everybody okay with that? Good. It's fine. You know what? Right. Look good. at that. So then I was going, I was thinking too, in the water bill before we even do our flyer, I know there's like upcoming events. Can we are can we put that in there? Mm -hmm. Cool. Look at that. We're already advertising. Um well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um and then I was gonna do the online registration thing again, like I did before with just a Google form and like they do the age like the name and the age. I'll look at what I did before, but I'll just reset it up. Um, and then I was going to see the first year we did it when we didn't have as many people, Orchid Health came and they had like a little spinny prize wheel and stuff. And mm -hmm. since it's so far ahead, I was going to reach out to them and see if they want to come, if you guys are okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll do that too. If, since you're already talking to the Boba people, they in the past had expressed interest. So since it's so far ahead, yeah. You want to ask them about that, about the sure. 28th? Um, do we want to try and get other vendors to make it more like an event for other people? Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, like the Clackamas River Basin Council, they have a new outreach person. She's super excited to be engaged with the community and they have like virtual reality goggles and they've got different lesson plans and activities. And yeah. she wanted to know she could come to the concerts. And so, yeah, they may be interested in coming out just to talk about yeah, are you coming to the concert tonight? You want to yeah. ask her tonight? Yeah. <laughs> then I would be done. Um, yeah. Because last time, so last year, how we blocked off the parking lot and had like chalk and stuff for them to draw with, mm -hmm. we could put that in there and the Orchid Health people in there if they can come and Boba in there. Um, and then I was thinking we can just modify the flyer. And I don't know if you did the flyer or if Stephen did. I did not do that one. Okay. So I'll have to talk to Steven because the other thing I was thinking that we wanted before but didn't have time to do was getting it translated into Spanish. Oh, okay. But we would be able to do that. Um, I will email mm -hmm. Steven with the date and time and see if he can do that. If he can't translate it, I could. Well, not the translation okay. part, but <laughs> editing the flyer. Because isn't there someone on city... Who does translation? Who does the translation? Sort of. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right. Any so that's my logistical part. Anybody have anything? I have one logistical yes. note for you. Um, so technically for events, we should be filling out, you should be filling out an event form permit. Obviously, it's gonna go through, but just to have it on file in case anybody asks. So I can get that for you. I can okay. email it to you. Okay. Um, yeah. Good just has know. the date and information. Okay. Yeah. According yep. to our code, it should, that falls into it. So. Okay. And then I think <clears throat> that we still have, like, we'll need to look in the box, but the, the waivers do not have dates on them that we made. And there are still a lot in there. So I can coordinate with you, Taryn, to get that box of trick or trot stuff and I can look and see, and then we can just like copy if we need more. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, because the way I did it last year is I linked to the waiver and they could either print it or they could like check a box. Like I will need a waiver at the event. And then we had blank ones for them to sign out. And it worked well. Um, then, so last year, I had extra medals left over. I bought a hundred new medals. We went through those because I think like I was saying that we had 166 people, if I remember correctly. Um, and so I was looking because people got, most of the people got the new medals and some of the people at the end got the medals from the year prior and they like knew and were kind of bummed about it. So I found these medals show you like this oh nice they're a little they're a little monster 
He is cute. It is really the only other Halloween ish one um, that isn't like scary. And then I found another one, but it has a date. So I didn't want to get that one. Um, so I was thinking I have all the prices. <laughs> if we buy, because they're they are expensive, 150 of them are $615. Last year we needed more than 150. So if we buy 200 of them, it's $820 because it goes down per unit. Mm -hmm. Um, and I couldn't remember what we did our budget for, for trick or trot. Was it a thousand or was it 1500? I can't remember. Can you look? Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what you thought about that piece. Um, because I know that the kiddos like them and I, I do still have a few left. And then I was thinking with these ones, there should be at least 50 left. And then I have some left from last year and then we won't have to buy as many. We can do like a mix year. of them. Mm -hmm. like in, in at the, the end, like the following yeah. year. Um, because it was, I felt really bad because the people at the end were like, oh, we got the same medal, which it's free, whatever. You know what I mean? But like, I don't know. Um, and while she's looking at that, then I'll tell you. So like the goodie bags that we do, I still have some more in there um, in the box, which I can look at next meeting. But um, I was thinking we they come in sets of 50 and it's $12.99 for 50 of them. And I thought that we should buy 150 more. Um, 200, I think is excessive because I have extras in that box, but I don't want to go too low with how many kids have been coming. Thoughts? Yeah. Sound good? Okay. Um, and then the things for the bags, you know, like those ropity, I think I took a picture, but I might not have. They're like friendship bracelets that like slide. They're or there's orange and black ones I found. You know what I'm talking about? Sounds like you could you could you like can tie adjust them together. It. Or... Yeah, and you they mm -hmm. um they mm -hmm. are seven dollars and twenty nine cents for seventy two of them. So if I got three sets of those, it would be twenty one eighty seven, which is a really good deal in my opinion. And I can get 144 spider rings for 729. And I know I still have more spider rings. And these are just, the, these are the things that go on behind the scenes, you guys, that I'd bring you in. Um, I can get 250 pack of glow sticks, not the skinny ones, but the fat ones that don't break for 79.99, which I think is like the best thing we put in there because they have it for trick or treating. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, did you find it? Um, so it's a thousand dollars you budgeted, but then you also budgeted an extra two thousand for increased costs or increased community turnout. Okay, so, so you'd be fine. Yeah, but trigger shot you just did a thousand. Okay, because if we did the two hundred medals for eight twenty, that only leaves us a hundred and eighty more for the stuff. And we could leave. We could do like. Since we left two thousand out for all events, we could yeah. throw in like an extra three hundred or four hundred or so. Yeah. So you could have about because they'd have the back. Plus, I can look and see. I might have like there might be fifty extra goodie bags in there, and I might only need to buy. I don't. That might change this a little bit. Yeah. Um. And then the the other thing I found these glow rubber ducks that are pretty cool. Halloween. I took a picture to show you. Um. Aubrey likes. <laughs> but they glow in the dark but they're like little they're halloween so oh, nice and they glow in the dark um and they're it's 50 dollars for 120 that's a little excessive don't know about the glow rubber ducks but they're kind of cool um and then we usually just put the candy in there too so it would be bracelet spider ring glow stick candy maybe a rubber duck yeah, I think That's the bracelets right. and the glow sticks and the candy and all that for sure. If we, yeah, we want to throw the rubber ducks. I don't, I don't have a problem with this. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were fun. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, and then as far as the medals, do you guys think we should just do the 200 and keep them for the next year? Probably. Because we did 166. Trying, like, order more. It was so, so yeah, it was. Last year, I didn't end up having to order more. The first year I had to reorder. I ordered a total of, I think, four times because we way underestimated. And then last year, I didn't reorder. It was just that then we had to use the old medals. Um, yeah. no, okay. I go for it because if 
if you don't use them, then they go to the next year. Yeah. And I'd rather order once because you don't have to pay for shipping, shipping twice mm-hmm. or, and you get a lower rate unit the, rate. Yeah. It, that's what I was thinking. It's going to be used at some point. Okay. Yeah. And then like, yeah, it sounds like like a year or two, then we'll just put them all together, all together and just and... have a hodgepodge mm-hmm. and then anyone gets what they get and they call it good. Okay. And then what do you guys think? I mean, we've always just done the one lap, which I think is good. Like, I kind of feel like that's what this is. So, you know, I like, I know we've talked about like making it bigger, like the other runs, but I think because they're in costume and it's more kid. And if we have the other stuff before, but I don't know. What do you I guys was think? wondering if to split it into age groups, do you like pre K and then like K? like first and second and then third through six, something like that, because you've got the really, really tinies and it doesn't take that long. So, and then if someone comes five minutes late, which then they can run with a different them, group. They still have yeah. a group that they can run with because otherwise it's such a short event. And if people aren't punctual or then yeah. they just miss it and they, it's a, little it's a bummer. Yes. Yeah, so, so if we ran it in, in like, like a staggered eight, start, yeah, as well as just for the the age bracket, you know, when you've got like the one kid who like runs super fast, he's like, ha ha, I beat all these like four year olds, yay me, I don't know. So like, it, it makes the four year olds feel bad, and it's really kind of pre K. <laughs> do we want to do like pre K and then like yeah K to two two? Are you gonna do second three, three, three five. five and then like six and everybody else six and above yeah so we could also try to do more like activities before to mm-hmm. like maybe cushion the the time for people yeah like oh if you well. come up early we'll, or you come early we'll have like chalk or maybe the boba yeah. or something like mm-hmm. you know yeah. you do, like, so like, we're starting that other three, stuff do, like 320 is the first go and then you do it every 10 minutes something like that to one it makes it more an event for people to hang out yeah, yeah. versus like oh it's, it, done it's and so fast gone. um we also, could add in a costume contest element or something too. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, a parade or something. Yeah, I don't know. Show off because they do like we encourage them to wear their costumes. I don't know how it would. I just had a thought, but then I don't know. And they're sitting there listening to me. We could also do since we're doing pre K K K two three five six and above. We could also do like a doggy one. Because a lot of people do like to bring their dogs and they could have their costume done. <laughs> That's some people's kids. Yeah. It was someone's kid. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, but I don't know. I have to think about. I mean, that adds a whole new level element. I know. There's they a lot of little, little kids behaviors. who are scared. Yes. Okay. I don't know that I would. No doggy dash. Um, in the past, we had the, well, the first year there was the, the girls who dressed up as princesses to greet people. Mm-hmm. Do do you know if they're still around? And oh, that's Jerry Ten Bush's daughter. Right. I don't are they know. have they grown and left, or did they go to college? I know. Still they, <laughs> are they still here? Would they be willing? Because that I feel like having something like that was. I wasn't at that, but I heard that was a good. thing. It was really good. Um, I mean, it's so far out that so you, I you could, could potentially find reach out and out. Reserve space <laughs> daughters. Like they like to come home. I think yeah. four races seems like kind of a lot I was like, there might be a lot of categories but maybe we did like pre-k then like one to three and then like four and up or something yeah. i think maybe we should do four and up because, because there aren't a ton of older older kids yeah have pre-k like three kids K-3. who got dragged along with their little siblings yeah, yeah. exactly right no thanks <laughs> and four and above yeah. and we can that we can play with as yeah. we go too yeah just, yeah. I just love like that it is not even July and we already have the date. Abri, no. Um, she was trying to be good and not listen. And then I can order these medals and like on summer break, because those are little stickers that I put on the back of each medal that says trick or trot. So I, I have plenty of time to do that right now. <laughs> and then when September hits and you're crazy, we're not so doing all this stuff, done. right? We'll be just set. We'll be done, yeah. We can work on maybe there's other vendors or things coming up. Yeah, I think we can bring. Uh, I think. Let's see if that's our car. That was me. Oh, never mind. It's Vincent's car. Come back. Come back. Like Vincent. Uh, I was like, we can. De- I was like, we. I know we brought some decor last year. I was like, we can definitely bring more. So, like, we have more Halloween stuff. We can definitely bring to like dress up the table and stuff like mm-hmm. our, our stuff too. So well, we have the um, the arch. I don't know. Yeah. 
He has that hole and he survived last year. I don't know. We'll see if, as I like him to be at the finish, but he's been, he's been through a little. We can sift around. If, there, if I see anything cool online, maybe I'll see if there's a, like, we can find a, a yeah. suitable replacement for him or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all I have on that. I like your staggering, the grouping. I think yeah. that's a good idea. Um, yeah. That's all. Cool. So, Taryn, if you get me the box for next meeting, then I can count everything and see. Like, I already know what I need for the medals because I know I ran out of the new ones. I'll just do that. But the other stuff I can look and see because I have other little bits and pieces too. And that's kind of what I did before is that it's like, oh, because I got those like fangs or whatever, they're like teeth, you know, <laughs> that you put in. Um, and like I ran out of those, but I had like spider rings from the year before. So it was just random. Yeah. Anyway, cool. Yeah. All right. Something else we could put in the bags would be like an advertisement or like just like a flyer for like the either candy cane or other park and rec things just so that it goes home. Ooh, that's a and good it, idea. Like put it with a coloring sheet with like events or something more. So that's something we can think about is that would probably be our target audience. A flyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With upcoming events which would have so the candy cane thing is the thing we do after trick or trot what else do we do oh well all the way in the spring is art in the park what else park can we spring, spring yeah and sp oh sprint to sp that would be a great place for a flyer for sprint to spring that's what you always get at a run is a flyer for the next run good job candy cane it, it probably wouldn't be very hard to do uh a little coloring sheet exactly. either if you oh, like a coloring sheet yeah you have that on it um it give the kids one more thing to put in their bag one more thing that they could do and you can make it a half sheet mm -hmm. yeah that's a great idea okay Cool. Well, I can get on ordering the medals yep. and I'll reach out to Orchid Health and let you guys know at the next meeting what they say. Because I know when I tried to get them to come to Sprint into Spring, they had like cut back on some of their position. Like they didn't have enough people to do that outreach right then. So mm -hmm. I don't know if they're back to where they can do that or not. We've got a couple months to think about it. Yep. They can plan ahead. Perfect. Yeah, I'll reach out to the bubble guy and see what's going on. And hopefully I'll get him for the concerts and for. We'll try to do this too. And then we can also talk to the library. So historically, that's been the day that they do the Dia de los Muertos, but I think they do it at noon. So if they're done and want to come over, they could. Yeah. Um, that'd be a great place for the mobile library. Maybe. Okay. Cool. Um, I can do that one. I can ask Deborah too. Maybe they can do like uh Yeah, it should be there soon. Oh, okay. Maybe they can do like Halloween themed uh books or something like uh like uh horror books or something like that, but or like the goosebumps or something like that. I'm gonna scare the kids. Like the Halloween or something yeah. not as scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of our favorites. Okay, I'm sorry, I have the mobile for trick or chat. Yeah, because if they and and they can plan since they will now know our date and time earlier. Because I know last year I think they adjusted their time for us. Um, that might help. Cool. I like it. Cool. Anything else? Uh, it feels much better doing us this far in advance. That's all. <laughs> I don't feel stressed about it. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Cool. Any other uh, items, comments, concerns? No? All right. I think we're good for the meeting then. <laughs>